Hi folks, Rod Pierce here uh, with Insulation Toledo. I'm glad that you joined me. I want you to know that right off the bat, I may have to look up now and then for some notes. Uh, first time doing everything, so here we go. A little something to share on video, which I'm very excited to do so. We're talking today about spray foam insulation. Uh, we're going to talk about our value, also the safety, and also costs with spray foam insulation. Goods and bads, the pros and cons. Uh, first off, with spray foam insulation, you'll save about 50% on your energy value, you know, cost and so forth, which is very exciting because, of course, we want to save money. That's why we're here. In fact, uh, in Toledo right now, it's freezing outside. Uh, other than that, we also know that it has an excellent air barrier uh, to keep the air within the walls, not going outside and paying for that heating bill, going outside and venting to the outside earth. Noise reduction. You also would like a quieter home, so therefore we want to make sure you know that spray foam does a great job on that for noise reduction. And finally, it goes in as a liquid form and then expands about a 100 times its normal size from the liquid form, which therefore great to fill the uh, various cracks, the various leaks, the little holes, possibly, uh, as we would call, various areas that you put in piping to the home for gas lines, etc. It's great for filling around those areas. Now, there are cons. Let's talk about safety. Um, first and foremost, it must be must be separated by an approved thermal barrier to protect against fire. Uh, once that the house is basically engulfed in flames, God forbid they should have a fire at your house. Uh, these are things you have to think about because, again, there's a possible life benefit here. As foam is ignited, it can exceed up to about 700 degrees Fahrenheit, and with that, suddenly the fire spreads rapidly. So that being said, fire basically and foam... Not the friendliest of friends, but, of course, it creates high temperatures. And the other thing, when we talk about fire, most people say, well, they unfortunately pass due to smoke inhalation. Um, because of its nature of spray foam, it emits in toxic gas, if you will, or toxic fumes. And that, again, not too helpful when it comes to the fire safety. From architects to building code, uh, if you will, inspectors, as well as building code officials, contractors, most of all you, homeowners, you should be concerning yourself with the idea that we hope and pray that everybody's confirmed about, the, basically concerned, pardon me, about the codes uh, very tight about spray foam insulation. In fact, firefighters are known to call it solid gasoline. Um, so basically with cost, you want to know that the spray foam can be up to three times the cost of your typical fiberglass or cellulose. Now, cellulose offers a basically 3.7 per inch as far as an R value, which is radiant barrier, and at the same token, spray foam about 3.8. So with just a minor little change there, you can go to something that's much more green friendly. It's 85% recycled material. It costs one third, usually about one third less than that of spray foam. And with that being said, you might ask yourself, well, then why would I choose spray foam over cellulose? Frankly, you wouldn't if you knew the facts. Rod Pierce, Insulation Toledo. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining us.